Let me make sure this thing is turned on. Make sure the mic is working. Alright, I'm good. Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again. It is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video. Fire hey top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Oh, hold on, hold on. The lights ain't on. What is going on, everybody? We are back with another video, man. Today, I am excited because we're about to check out the Air Jordan 3. Racer Blue. Now, before we even get too deep into this video, bro, I cannot believe we still even talking about this, bro. We right now at 84K. There's no reason why we ain't at 100K yet, bro. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you need to hit the subscribe button right now. Or, or there's no other reason to be here. Why are you watching my videos, bro, and you ain't subscribed? What's going on with you, bro? Y'all lazy, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Y'all just lazy, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all lazy. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Literally take one second, bro. Go ahead and drop that comment. Drop that like. And the Air Jordan 3 Race of Blue is something that I'm not looking really extra forward to seeing. I know for a fact I've seen so many pictures of this shoe. It's not impressive. And I already know a lot of times I go see the shoe and I change my mind, but I think I'm right on this. The reason is because, man, like when it comes to this Air Jordan 3 Race of Blue, the elephant print is not what I know and love it to be. So if you check out these right here, one of my favorite shoes of all time, if not my favorite Jordan of all time, the Black Cement 3. So when we check out the Black Cement 3, man, this elephant print hit a lot different than the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue. Now, even though I haven't held the Racer Blue in hand, I can easily tell by the photos. I can easily tell from the comments that I've seen so far about it. The, it's not hitting, bro. The cement is not hitting. And if you ruin the cement on the Air Jordan 3, it's nothing else to talk about because that's a huge piece of the entire shoe. Ruining the cement on the Air Jordan 3 is like ruining mac and cheese on Thanksgiving Day. You just can't do it, bro. Like, you just can't do it. So as y'all can see, man, I'm about to head to the gym first. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Snipe been in the gym. I've been trying to get my gains in. But that's why you see me with the workout tee. You see me with the do-rag. Do-rag Snipe down below in the comments. But after that, we're going to go and check out the Air Jordan 3 Racer 3s. I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on these before we go pick them up. And of course, after we done, I can ask how y'all feel about them when we do pick them up. But I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't know about these, bro. Now, part of me was going to grab these, right? Because I'm like, yo, bro, I do need some white shoes. And, and white and blue is an easy concept. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, go over there, follow me on Instagram. I've been way more in tune with my fashion. Like I always say, bro, I'm not buying a million pair of shoes a year no more, bro, because at the end of the day, that I just don't wear them. And I do believe if I was to buy this shoe, I won't wear it. It'd just be in one of these closets somewhere stacked up like the rest of them, and I'll just be stuck with a shoe I'm not going to wear. And yeah, that's just about it. So we about to get the day started. I'm about to head to the gym. I'm a little bit behind time, but... It is what it is, man. I get up with y'all soon. Let's go. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I am extremely exhausted. Today, bro, I have set a record, all right, for, for, for being in the gym. And um, I set a record for my bench press. Now, I was never the type of dude to try to lift like a million plates, all right? I used to always just come in, get a lot of reps in, and not really, you know what I'm saying? But today, bro, I don't know. Maybe it was the uh, Meek Mill playing through my headphones, bro. I felt like I can lift anything. We wrapped up the gym. I'm feeling good, bro. Now we about to head to Kick Theory. Like I told y'all, the Racer Blue 3s is a shoe that... Man, I don't know. I don't really know what the street like. What the street saying right now, bro? Is people even checking for this shoe? Is y'all even concerned about this shoe in the slightest, bro? Or is this one that y'all gonna pass up on? But yeah, though. Like, I, oh yeah. By the way, if I hit 100k this year on the channel, bro, I'm dropping a song. I don't rap. I don't rap at all. You know what I'm saying? But my freestyles be lit, and I'ma drop a song. And if we hit 100k, I'ma drop a song and a video. So if you want to see a 100k song and you want to see a music video, hey, look, bro. We 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 gonna do it. Yo, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to me. Talk to me. What you got going on, bro? Oh, oh shoot. Uh, uh, we got the Racing Blue, uh, Blue coming out okay. on Saturday. Okay. So we're taking the raffles. Uh, for the Are you doing the raffles here? Yeah. So so um, the way you do it, y'all doing IG raffle? No, nah, no. Nah, we're doing in-store raffle. So whatever you purchase, okay. uh, you're automatically participating for the raffle. Gotcha. So if y'all want the Racer Blue 3 from Kick Theory, the way they're doing it this time, because I remember I told y'all earlier in the vlog, Sometimes they release shoes different ways. Sometimes they might do like a IG raffle. Sometimes they even might do trivia. What, what shoe was that y'all did trivia for, you remember? Diffusion Red. So this time, 
if you come inside the store and you purchase something, you automatically get a ticket for the shoe after your purchase. Is it like a certain amount of money they gotta like spend, or is it just nah, like a, not, not this time? It's not even a certain amount of bread you gotta spend. So literally, if you just come through and purchase something, you get a ticket. So come through, Kick Theory. Uh, I'm gonna drop the IG down below so you can check out the location. And all you gotta do is just purchase something out of the store, and you can walk away with a pair of the Racer Blue Threes, guaranteed. The setup is in here, bro. They got. Woo! Yeah, we just done the race of blue. Fire red threes, man. I remember, bro, when these came out. Jeez, this is this is a good one. I got these ones. All right, you gotta have at least one pair of true blues in your collection. This looks like an older pair, though. You can tell from the yellow one, this is an older pair. And you can tell from, like, see how the paint is coming out? So the paint is peeling on this pair, and the yellow one on this tab, on this heel tab, it gotta be older, cause I got these. And look at the yellowing that's on this toe box, bro. These are definitely older pairs. I just, I just, I just caught that. That's crazy. And then lastly, they got the what is this called? The Motorsport Fours. I slept on these. Not gonna lie, this is a decent shoe. They had a black pair and a white pair. The white pair is better than black pair in my opinion, but I didn't buy either or. The Power, yo, they got the Power Rangers Reeboks in here, bro. If y'all didn't watch the video. I did a video, Reebok sent me the entire package. Also, do the boxes that y'all got, do they build up to be the Megazord too? All right, cool, so I guess that's pretty much standard, but they got the yellow pair here, the um, blue pair. This pair, I thought was fire. Boy, come in here looking like a bag of money, man. He got the wither spoons on his feet, right? Hey, man. Then, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then he gonna just tuck the private label bag. Like, he ain't just got the private label bag. Corey, man, what you got going on? Is that hey. a fresh fade, by the way? Hey, man, you know, I just hey, got out the chair, Hey, man. Corey a legend, man. This dude is a legend, man. Talk to the people, bro. Hey, man, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all need to come to the shop, man. I ain't gonna lie. People love Corey in my videos, bro. I don't know if it's because Corey funny or he just like a sneaker historian, bro. But they, they rock with you in the video. I had seen these threes over here, bro, and I've been waiting for you to come through the door because I wanted to ask you a question. I read three. Look like it got some age on it. Yes. What year is this from? Uh, I don't know. I have to ask Chris on this oh, one. Oh, Chris is yours? Yeah. yeah. Chris, what, what, what year is this three? 13 yeah, or 14. Whenever they came out, that's when I bought it. I think it's 14. 14? Maybe maybe into 13. And then, and then, hold up. I seen that these true blues had like yellowing on a back tab. So I know this is not the newer one. What, what year What year is this one right here? I think that one is, yeah, when they this was out, even they older, 12, yeah, 12. 2012, 2012. I was in high school in 2012. That is, that is crazy. I knew that was, I knew they weren't the newer ones though. And then, and then these came out like 2019 or something like that. Yeah, yeah 2019 or something like that. Yeah, this one doesn't have the Nike Air. That's right, because there was one after yeah, this. Yeah. That's, that was That's that, the one that I had. What was that, 2015? It might have been it might have been like 2016. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I didn't get those actually. You got these? I don't. You don't, I don't own a pair. I don't I've never had a pair of true blues. Well yo, hey, you when you got a wizard spoon, bro, you don't need no <laughs> true blues, man. You know what I'm saying? Tomato tomato, bro. You good. I haven't seen the race of blue yet. What do you think about it? I like it. I like it. It's different. Uh the elephant print's different on it. I, I, that's what they, I talked about they earlier. Added some 3M to it. So. Okay. I think it's kinda like a motorsport type vibe to it. Like uh you got the racer blue. And obviously the Motorsport 4 there was the black, blue, and white colorway. Okay. This is kind of similar, but it's basically this shoe, but just with racer blue here gotcha. and elephant print there. So, I'm sorry, 3M elephant print on the back there. Okay. So, I mean, it's it's the same color blocking as the uh, Fire Red 3. So now, now, the last time we talked, the Hawks were still in the play. <laughs> now, here it comes. There you go. That's a very good analogy. Uh, on the fire red threes, though, it's pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I cherish the the cement so much that I don't know. The leather quality is great. I'm not gonna lie. The leather quality is great. This elephant print is throwing me off. I'm not gonna lie. Let me just grab these real quick, right? I've came to know and love this elephant print so mm -hmm. much. I agree. That like when it's tampered with like this, it doesn't excite me. I'm just like, yo, why they do that? But I mean, 3M is a good touch, I'm not gonna lie, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was 3M either, by the way. So, um, I, I can see them, you know, tweaking it. But if, if it's me, I would've kept it here. Maybe if they would've kept it here, they would've felt like it was too close. Yeah, I think they tried to be just different. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's, I think they tried to separate it from the, the OG look, but. I don't know, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna ask y'all, because is this 3M as well? Uh, no. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to ask y'all. Do you believe it's a W or L switching the elephant print to this 3M or should they have kept it OG? Now, look. I don't got no dog in the fight, all right? I ain't rocking with it that much. Corey said he rocking with it. All right, cool. Hey, look, look. I'm, I'm going to be listening to y'all down below in the comments, but we about to get some B-roll of this shoe so we can see it. And, but the leather quality is A1, though. Like, no lie. It is. This yeah. one is good, too, though. Yo, they don't make threes like they used to, no, though. They don't. So I was like, man, that's like the UNC. But yeah, they both got the same Until you pick up the UNC again. Because the UNC, you know, they got the leather down here on this little mud guard. Yeah. Here, it's like a synthetic, which is normally what you get on a three. Right. So this is like by far one of the best quality r retros we've gotten in the last probably oh, without a doubt. four or five years, yeah, I would say. And I mean, but holding them, holding them, you know, next to each other, they're very similar. Okay. But this is definitely some Duke UNC, and you already know. Oh my we're goodness, going here. man! Hey, going man. Here. hey, Duke, Duke, they got Kyrie, Zion, they got Jason yeah, Tatum. You know, they make better pros, man. Well, we got Jordan, so you know, it's a. Uh, I rather have LeBron. That's a different <laughs> subject. That's a different subject. <laughs> So now it's time for the 3M test. And I tried to do it with B-Roll, it wasn't working. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just turn a flash on my cell phone and I'm gonna take the photo through here and do it old school. And there you have it, the 3M look. It's not heavy, but you can still see it though. It's like a part of the shoe. All right, guys, what's up, man? We finally back at the crib, man. Today has been a long day. I'm tired as hell, working out running the kick theory, coming back, traffic was absolutely terrible in Atlanta, it started raining, everything that could have possibly went wrong, went wrong. But still, man, I'm pretty excited about these Air Jordan 3s. Um, after seeing them, they're not as bad as I thought they would be. My only negative takeaway of the shoe is I personally would have liked the old elephant print, but before anybody criticize me on that, I understand adding different elements to sneakers. We get elephant print on just about every Air Jordan 3. It's common, it's expected. So I think Jordan Brandon did a good job by trying things up. I always say, you know what I'm saying, I can, I can live with trying. You know what I'm saying? I just can't live with not attempting to try something different. So I'd be a hypocrite if I was to say, you know what I'm saying? They shouldn't have done that. Be sure to let me know how you feel about the Air Jordan 3. Do not forget to subscribe before you leave this channel because like I said, 100K on the way, that plaque is going somewhere around here, bro. I don't know, even if I gotta take something down and put the plaque up, but the plaque is going up. And of course, I will catch y'all in the next one, man. It is your boy, Chamber Jones. I appreciate y'all for watching as always. Do not forget to subscribe to my second channel as well. And you know I cannot leave without saying everybody wanna be famous, but who really put in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.